you know, he well, he's got like a void. That's, that's not really a farming tool. So <laughs> if if you can shut down the four in that first night and just not give him anything, um, it, it makes his game sort of much less impactful. Yeah, Night Stalker very good against Lesh as well, obviously. Uh, not a not a massively tanky hero Lesh, so probably yep. going to see an early yule from him. And does not like being silenced. No. So, yeah, that's what I mean. You'll probably get an yep. early yule on the Lesh just to try and counter out that silence. And yeah. Nubi, Nubi yeah. really running the clock down here, though. I might see something like a Viper coming out to lane against the Lesh. They're thinking about something, that's for sure. And they're going to pull out the troll. Okay, so picking their carry. Um, so if it is a puck mid, then they've already picked their carry and their mid laner, which is quite interesting. Um, we'll, we'll see what way they take it. I mean, as I said, the puck can still be on the off lane. And uh, we haven't seen the Team Secret Heroes yet, so anything could happen. Any any lanes could go down. You know, this this could be a five last track. I doubt it, but it yeah. could be. I like the fact that they've picked Troll, that if he gets doomed, it doesn't really matter too much. He can kind of just wander around still whacking people with his uh, with his axes. So I think that's a decent pickup. Probably see like a a Treads SMY or like a Treads, but might go Battle Fury, but uh, not too sure. Um, Tread test some wire or something and just really, he kind of, yeah, like I said, he doesn't care if he gets, gets doomed. He's like, well, yeah, cool, whatever. Come at me. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still gonna fight you. Obviously, Troll being the, the best here at man fighting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, Roshan potential though, uh, pretty high for newbie right now, just with that Troll Warlord pick alone. Mm. I mean, and Nightstalk obviously could, probably gonna build the medallion, so. Yeah, they needed some kind of physical damage and some kind of objective taker, and obviously, uh, Troll does that really well. Uh, you kind of win one fight, and all of a sudden they've lost two sets of racks. Yep. Uh, you're like, in the secret, like, oh, cool. Okay, nice. Thank you for that. Um, they, they don't have a lot of uh, reliable lockdown on secret at the moment. They'd like, like some big AoE team fight. It's kind of all single target apart from the Lesh. And when you think of Spirit Breaker Doom, you don't really think of like controlling controlling fights, do you? So, might see some kind of big team fight here at some point, but not not too sure. They really haven't shown whether the Lesh is a support or a core yet as well. I imagine it's probably going to be a core Lesh with the Spirit Breaker roaming in. Um, again, the Yapsil could play the Doom, but I imagine it's going to be Farta playing that Doom. He he's the designated Doom player in Secret. I feel like. <laughs> designated Doom driver. Yeah. Okay, they're actually, only 10 seconds off on, yeah. on Secret as well. These guys are really running down the clocks here. I mean, generally you don't want to leave yourself in the position where you don't have much time for that final pick because it, it, if they throw you a curveball, then you don't have much time to play around it. You know, if they, if they pull out the last pick brood or something like that, then you, do, you, do, you really don't have anything to do with it. I mean, probably not this game, but um, just an example there. But um, there comes out the Dragon Knight. So um, I don't... When I think of Secret, I don't really think of DK. I've, I've got to no, be honest. No, me neither. So this, this doesn't feel like a mid one hero. Yeah. But again, at the same time, they have uh, it's more lockdown, which is very good, obviously. But this is uh, we, they didn't really have an answer to the puck before. And now they do with this Dragon Tail. Obviously, it has a travel time in the uh, in the alt form. But yeah, again, yeah. if you get this blink on DK, you can just blink stun the puck. Yeah. And all yeah. of a sudden, you know, that's that's their way of dealing with the puck now, I feel like, if they don't get a Doom on. It, it can be difficult to Doom this annoying little fairy dragon sometimes, can't it, when he's, he's everywhere all over the fight with the orbs and blinks. Definitely, and you're just spending the whole fight trying to chase around the little fairy, just kind of <laughs> right-clicking on him and stepping back and trying to watch your little Doom chase him down. Yeah. Um, we've all been there. We've all been there. It's, it's incredibly frustrating. So, uh, final ban out from Team Secret, but only seven seconds left in that reserve time. And as I said before, that it's a... Uh, well, at least they've got this pick now, and they ban out the Shadow Fiend, is yeah. it? I think it's, Shadow Fiend's very good against DK in mid lane as well, so I think that's telling that they're probably going to put the DK mid here. Yep, uh -huh. yeah. We'll have to see. Do we still have a Viper in the pool? We do, so... Mm. But then again, they've already picked the... I don't know, they could move Puck to the offlane and just play a Viper for that Nether Toxin here, but... They could. It only really counts the Dragon Knight. It doesn't really do a whole lot to Doom unless he it's eats a creep. Good magic resistance against the Lesh as well, though. I'm surprised they didn't yeah, pick it up Yeah, before. that's true, actually. That's true. Oh, we'll have to see. What are they, they going to go for here on Secret? Oh, wow. Okay, so they're going to pull out the Lycans. That's going to be... Um, Probably the Lycan... No, I don't actually, I'm really struggling to see how so it's <laughs> gonna be, they it's do It's going to be a one. support Lesh, I think. Yeah, support Lesh for sure. Um, um, then okay. just Lycan in the safe lane, DK mid and, and Doom in the off lane. So Lycan's really good at just getting in people's faces. Obviously, they they have really good push potential now on Secret as well with the uh, with DK, Lycan, Lesh. Imagine this kind of death wall strat here where Lesh gets Edict. Lycan's going to be like, cool, we win a fight. I'm just going to take all your towers. The thing is, that's, that's a concept that people are talking about more and more now where how many fights does it take for us to win the game. Yeah. And I feel yeah. Secret's lineup at the moment, they are they are looking in good shape here because they have three heroes that can all push. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't matter if, you know, two of them survive, one of them survive. They don't really have any lockdown for Lycan at the moment as well. They have the coil, but okay. So mm, they actually get okay. the DP. 
Death Prophet versus Lycan, I mean, in, in a team fight, how does that one really work out? Because you've got the, obviously the ghosts are running around, they're doing their thing, the Lycan's also running around doing his thing, there's, there's still no real lockdown for him. I like, kind of feel, I mean... I think KP has to coil the like in this game. They have no other way of dealing with him, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, uh, I mean, I guess the Bramble Maze is, is kind of good against him, just limiting where he can move. But again, he is fast enough to just walk around them or sprint around them, I guess. Lycan's good at, uh, not very good at man fighting their troll, though. So the troll's quite happy to just stand there and hit him back. But True, true. Uh, absolutely. Lycan's going to be uh, very happy to kind of just like, kite this troll around the fight, really abuse their uh, lack of hard lockdown. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what they go for here. Alrighty then, well, um, players are getting ready, we're getting uh, getting into the game, let's get into it. Secret versus Newbie, game number one in this group stage at Epicenter. Who's it going to be from that draft? I think I like Secret's draft more, but again, at the same time, both teams have got this scenario where if they win a fight, they can really take objectives. There's Troll DP on one team, and there's DK, Lycan, and Lesh on the other yeah, team. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it's Battle of the Pushes, right? Um, this is, yeah. So um, as well, like you know, not seeing the not seeing the IO, not seeing the disruptor. Mm. Um, I feel like this is kind of both teams pushed out of maybe what they planned on doing. Because I, th I feel like disruptor was very much the newbie comfort pick, and IO was kind of you know I, I expected that to see that from Secret. So uh, IO got banned out in the first phase as well, though. By yeah, uh, by yeah, Secret, so, so both so. banned out. Not sure. I mean, Who knows? let's see. Um, I think my money is is going to be on secret for this game. Mm. Um, I like the like it. I, th I think they don't have the lockdown to deal with him, honestly. Mm. And you don't want to be committing your coil just for a lichen throw. I think it doesn't matter too much, though, if you do just drop the coil on the lichen, especially when that's your main way of dealing with it. Uh, so we're probably going to see a Puck Knight Stalker dual off lane here. Um, and then we'll see a probably dual lanes from both teams with the uh, Doom Lesh in the off lane as well. Yep. Three silences on the side of Newbie as well. I mean, no, maybe if they jump on this lichen early enough, they can actually keep him silenced long enough so that he can't get his ult off. So maybe that's the idea. Yeah, they could. There's not really not, any not kind easy of, to do, but I can certainly give it a go. There's not really any kind of defensive capability on Secret as well to kind of help with that. That's what that's why I like the Abaddon ban in the second phase from Newbie. Oh wow, look at the PMA Aww. from Fatter there. So nice. Do you reckon he just typed that out, or uh, <laughs> do you reckon he's got that on copy on paste for every game he plays? Yeah, probably. What a nice guy. What a sweetheart. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, let's get into this game as we see uh, mid one down by this bottom rune. Um, looking to go. He's got the uh, Quelling Blade and Stout Shield. Uh, yep. No mangoes. Just had to see. Yeah, we saw the four yesterday on the yeah. on Patch of Life scene. <laughs> People were just KP actually getting got all the, the mangoes. Yeah, KP actually got the U first as well to really abuse the... To get this damage out on the Lycan. Uh, I like this a lot. Really put the pressure on the lane. Yep. Uh, does, um, does KP know that you can't pull the Creep Wave anymore? <laughs> yeah, he's hanging around there like he's trying to, isn't he? Uh, I think he might just be getting some information on that lane, yeah. but who knows? Maybe they haven't read patch notes. Maybe that's the plan. <laughs> just oh. pretend there aren't any patch oh, notes. The charge the face. Just, yep, they're going onto this Dark Willow here, and they have to split up to follow it up. She does get off that Shadow Realm, but is it going to be enough to save her? In comes Moogie with the slow, but there Ooh. comes the Blade, and it's a lot of damage onto Faith, and that is going to be a first blood going to the Yapsor there. Yeah, good Infernal Blade there by Fata. Uh, just they really just you know kited the willow around. It looked like he wasn't quite going to reach in there uh, with the whirling axes coming out from the troll, but yeah, yeah, just in range for the attack. Fortunately, it was one axe too few in the end uh, to slow <laughs> them down. And yeah, as you say, K KP is just really like throwing on the harass onto Ace here. And uh, is he? Uh, I think he's just abusing the fact that you, that you don't get um, pulled yeah. by the creeps anymore and just kind of just stopping them blocking. That's I, probably it, right? He's just yeah. stopping the block. I think they're happy to just give uh, Ace this. This lane by himself, you know, it's going to be really difficult for him, but it, it frees up the supports in the other lanes and they really want to pressure this troll. Early yeah, on, so in the mid lane, uh, we have SCC, C, three, four, three <laughs> C's in there. Um, doesn't roll off the tongue particularly well. Uh, versus mid one um, and DK. So I, I feel like this is more or less a, uh, a kind of even lane. I, th I think DK is fine to just sit here, really. Yeah. Um, doesn't really have the damage. There's a stun up on top lane. Ace dropping pretty low to this harass, though. Um, as Ace is having a pretty rocky start to this game so far. Uh, really low on health. Uh, we'll have to pop that salve very early here. And actually, Kaka's coming in for the deny, but oh. I don't think he gets in range for it. And uh, we'll just take a lot of harass from Yapsor in response. Oh my. So, yeah, the thing is, this, this lane is really difficult for Ace at the start, though. But when he starts to get levels in the Feral Impulse, where he gets some more heal up, I think he's going to be fine. Um, they don't, I don't think they have enough damage to be able to just completely zone him out the lane when he gets to like level three, level five or so. Again, in the mid lane, I think DK versus DP is just going to be a farm trade. Yep. Bit of harass going on to Fada here. Not enough to really put him under any pressure, though, uh, as he just kind of lanes up versus uh, Moogie and Faith. 
Um, so I, f I feel like this is kind of a awkward lane for the Doom to be in. You, c you can't really come forward for farm Hicks. There's mm. so much harass on, on Moogie and Faith. You know, with the Dark Willow, her right clicks are pretty insane. Uh, the Troll, of course, you know, he's not a guy you want to uh, let hit you so much. So it, it, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty rough lane for a Doom, all things considered. Yeah, I think the thing is, though, that Nubia are going to be able to farm in all three lanes. I feel like there's, there's not really too much that uh, the Secret can do. I feel like Spirit Breaker Lesh is quite a, a weak support combo when they're not put together for this uh, kill potential. Uh, they're not great zoning supports. You know, Spirit Break is fine. But, uh, Lesh, no, not a yeah, not a great zoning support, especially when there's like a Night Stalker puck in the lane. They they don't care yeah. about trading hits back, do they? Exactly, exactly. They'll they'll hit as hard as they get hit. Stun out on the top lane, onto Kargar here as Yapsil's just trying to do his best. Uh, got a haste rune, in fact, um, to harass the uh, the heroes of Nubian and, and make a bit more space for Ace here. But uh, starting off on five for CS only, um, and you know. Kaka and, and, and KP do, doing a little bit better here with uh, 11 and now 12 CS onto KP, so... Um, yeah. A little bit awkward here for Secret. I'm wondering if they're going to rotate anybody in to try and help out here, or whether they're just kind of let, let Ace get on with it. I think they just have to hit this, hit this like, mid-game uh, mid like strong point that they have within their team with their three cores, where they're all very tanky. True, it's... but I'm kind of worrying now because the Doom's also not getting a whole lot from the lane, and, you know, DK is kind of trading evenly at mid, uh, doing a little bit better now, in fact, but... Things are kind of going uh, newbie's way in this laning phase, I think. Yeah, the, the problem I have is that I think newbie come out of this laning stage stronger, and Secret are going to try and group up and push with the heroes. But I think uh, newbie have a really strong team fight with this uh, puck, puck dark willow, so and the DP as well, especially with that last pick. And so it's going to be very difficult for Secret to try and fight into them where they don't have great team fight themselves. There's a, a charge, charge coming from behind the tower from Puppy here, as so he hits them back into mid one, but they're not really going for a kill here. Just looking for a bit of tasty harass onto a CCC. Yeah, it's really difficult to try and uh, try and kill that DP when she has the Spirit Siphon available. Especially yeah, against yeah. these really tanky strength heroes in the Spirit Breaker and DK. Very annoying to uh, to be trying to kill someone who's constantly healing and also taking your health, mm. which is uh, turns many a gank bad. Oh, There's charge. a charge coming in onto Kaka here, and with the damage here, Split Earth and use that Howl as well just to get those right clicks through, and they will finish the job. Puppy getting accredited for that kill. As yeah. uh, down in bottom lane, they're going onto Fada Mugi, mm -hmm. trying to take down the Doom as he pops that Scorched Earth. Misses with the Axes, in fact. Fada gonna juke it back round. How long can he stay alive here? Gonna try and go for oh, the wow. TP out. Mugi not gonna find him, and this will be a Doom living to Doom another day. That, that's that's what I like to see though from the Spirit Breaker, rotate into the lane that the Lesh is in and then suddenly they have such good kill potential with the charge into the Split Earth. Um, it kind of puts those heroes together and so instead of them being separate, it's, it gives them wonders. Yeah, Ooh. another charge in onto SCCC Ooh. and with the double damage on mid one, this is going to be enough to bring down that pesky witch. And uh, that is a big kill uh, going the way of uh, the DK. So, so all of a sudden, Puppy has really turned those lanes around. Yeah, that's huge for them as well. They, like, she didn't even have the Spirit Siphon if it was available, so... Oh, yep, so though. Yeah, there's, there's a charge coming through from Puppy, and it is night time, so it's it's more just a zoning charge as uh, Kaka goes to chase down the Spirit Breaker, and Puppy should get away here. No Void available, so just TP yourself home. Mm. I really like the Spirit Breaker pick as well in terms of the... Obviously, the Night Stalker tries to cut out the vision of the enemy team, um, but Spirit Breaker can always give that with the charge, so you just follow somebody. Oh, mid one might be in here trouble we here. go though. with the Life Drain onto the Dragon Knight. The stun going to come crude through from the Curse Crown as well, but in comes a left rank. Nice stun there on to Kaka. It's enough to save the mid laner. It is not as mid one hits the deck. Now the charge coming through, though, onto Kaka will be cancelled. They don't want to go for this one without their mid laner present. Yeah, they have to throw everything there onto mid one to bring him down. Such a tanky hero, and he was I think he was already low health when they went on him, so... Wow, they had to really commit a lot for him there. They sure did. Um, so up in this top lane, um, Puffy kind of and, and Kaka just playing cat and mouse right now um, as, as they really want to put some more pressure onto Ace. Mm. The thing, the worry I have for uh, Secret at the moment is that Moogie's having complete free farm in this bot lane. No, nobody's touching him at all. Um, yeah, this Troll Warlord really is uh, doing very well for himself. But three heroes now gather at top for Secret. Do they want to make a play here? Or are they just trying to uh, secure Ace a bit of farm? They just they need to keep this spirit breaker and the lesh together like like we mentioned before because they have so, it just completely changes their laning stage it makes them so much stronger and yeah yeah but you know I love the way that puppy's not showing in these lanes every single time he comes to a lane he just waits in the tree lines patiently waiting and, and every second he's not showing on the map is another second spent in fear for newbie because mm. they just don't know where he's going to be they don't know where he's going to pop up and look at faith in kaka here though and fata's rotating in as well this is going to be a bloodbath <laughs> so you need to kill this illusion so that uh, puppy lands on the right one uh, maybe it might be enough to stun them anyway but look at the exism and the damage 
damage coming through. Can they bring down mid one? No, they turn it around. They kill SCCC. Mid one going to go down anyway. Faith being chased down. Lightning will finish down that Dark Willow. So three kills happening in this middle lane. Two heroes going down from Newbie and only one from Secret. But again, mid one dying in this middle lane. Yeah, that's the exorcism committed though from S Triple C. And with him going down there, that's not really how you want to be using it the first time. That's takes, true. That's takes, true. But yeah, it takes them so much to try and kill this DK that you know if you don't burst him down straight away. They are going to turn around very quickly with the uh, burst damage from the Leshrac and the charge coming in from Puppy. Yeah, but Puppy, I mean, my god, like, what, what a play in this game so far, just turning around this laning phase. You know, as we said before, it was going pretty badly for Newbie, but now things are starting to turn around for them as uh, Puppy's just charging in every lane, and uh, it doesn't feel like Newbie have the answers in this laning phase. Maybe later on we might, but right now, uh, things are difficult. Yeah, they know that Troll's having a good time. They don't really need to give anybody... Uh, they did not need any help down there. So Faith and Kaka are just wandering around together getting kills. And you see here in this top lane again, oh, they're doing the same. Another day, another stun. And Ace is in a lot of trouble. There's no TPs coming in here. They're just letting him go down as a left track will fall. Wow. It's, it's such a huge kill as well. As much as you can shut down this Lycan, he's, he's, their, he's their key hero. He's like their winning uh, objective hero this game. So they can bring him down over and over again in this laning phase. It's really going to hurt his, uh, his farm coming into the mid game. Yep, I'll charge onto Moogie, but Moogie, his charge sensors are, uh, are tingling. And uh, now they'll find him in the trees. Fata, Yapsaw also hit. Split Earth uses a lot of damage, and it is too much damage for the troll to take. He does go down, tries to take Puppy with him, but nowhere near close enough to do that. Yeah, great rotation by Secret. They lose their Lycan, but again, if you kill this troll, he's having such a great time this game that I think it's more important that you kill the troll at this point. Yeah, and look at the change in the net worth there. You know, even early on in this game, it's still nice to look at that. Sometimes you just see, like, the troll get taken down a big peg there. Showing how much the deaths are really worth in this laning phase. Mm. But Dark, what, they really want to just focus this down Ace here in this top lane. They're just sitting on him all the time. Because <laughs> they're, re they're really laying on the pressure, and he's already struggling, and they just don't want him to pop back up again. He's trying to knock him down and keep him down. I hope we see the blink first from KP on this puck. Um, sometimes we see the Veil first, which which could be okay, I think, but I, I really want to see this mobility and getting on top of the Lesh early on. Well, here we go, the into the trees, Ace pops the ultimate and the wolves, in fact, and just turning oh, around, wow. going aggressive here onto Kaka, but there is five heroes up here from Newbie, but they are very cautious in taking this fight, which does surprise me, but in comes Fats around the side, yeah, they've actually the used the coil onto Ace, no surprises there, put a lead on that doggy, but in they come, Puppy, trying to get out the sidelines, meanwhile Kaka, he's being attacked by Ace, can they bring him down, his ulti is off, KP is going to be the first one to drop everybody's generally low here puppy will die kaka staying in this fight the exorcism starting to do his work now as fata limping out of this fight on the doom and it does look like we're only going to have two going down meanwhile M mid one doing a lot of work down here in this bottom lane to take a tower and uh well whose fight was that that is definitely a secret win here with yeah. newbie popping exorcism they committed five heroes to this top lane what a good rotation by fata as well coming around the back and dooming the puck if you can do that puck but when the fight starts just completely take him out and without if he doesn't drop that coil all of a sudden there's no answer to the lichen yeah yeah absolutely so um a secret and they're, they're, they're looking pretty strong right now as they uh, charge up into the top lane but will oh. be cancelled could be in trouble here i'm not sure we just get nearby up. Oh, there's a and Faith crowd. is going, but 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 no one else is here, is here to follow up. So yeah, I think it's just uh, a little bit of harass thrown out from the Willow. New patch change as well. When that Curse Crown goes off, you don't get vision anymore. So when he yeah. goes up the hill, it's a bit more scary to try and chase. Definitely. Uh, KP just going to predictably dodge that strike there. Um, but you know, Puppy, he, he wasn't going for the study. He was just going for a bit of a bit of, bit of travel time. He really wants efficiency. He really wants uh, level six on Spirit Breaker as well. I think uh, to try and be able to. Just really bring people down. Now we have mid me. one in the middle lane with the invis initiation onto the death prophet and with all the heroes here, the whole gang is here to take down SCCC. So another death on the uh, death prophet here. What an action packed game so far. Yeah, I love that they've timed their rotation here with a siege creep as well, so they can look to try and push here. I think. Yeah, here we go. Here's the ult from mid one. Yep, no surprise there. Just pop in straight away. Uh, stun slightly off the mark from Yamsil. Good phase shift dodge though. It's all about the face shift, man. <laughs> it wasn't a miss, it was a dodge. <laughs> well, uh, clearing the tree is also really useful there as well in the mid lane, because it just gives you that extra peace of mind that no one's going to TP on your Ooh. face. Kaka just uh, pops the darkness there out of pure rage, it seems, as uh, mid one will take down this middle tower. Another tower going to the dragon. He's just going to TP himself out of there. Is that before? Nope, they do actually get the stun off in time. And it uh, does look like the dragon is going to go down. That's fine though, they got the tower. I mean, yeah. I mean it's not great that he dies, but they, they got the object objective that they came for. They committed a lot of rotations for him, and when he's used his ult, he, he, whatever, it's fine. It's only a Dragon Knight. He's not, oh. he's not your hero, not but your winning hero. It's mid one Dragon Knight, it's more than just a Dragon Knight. Ooh. 
Kaka um, in trouble. In the middle lane as uh, Kaka is going down to Puppy here with that. Um, down but the doom onto the puck and chasing him down and will take him down before the terrorize lands Kaka trying to get away but the lightning bolt comes through from Yapzor secret finding two kills there just on by the skin of their teeth my lord that was pretty big uh, the terrorize actually used by faith as well in the attempt to save the puck but didn't quite happen yeah this is a uh, I think faith thought they had a they had a ward up on this cliff from where Fart was standing before because he felt very confident but doesn't find anything unfortunately uh, well, a fish and a miss. Um, Ace and Faith just going to say hi to one another. Yeah, with that level six Trade on Faith, hit. that level six on Faith, they really want to kind of uh, use this better, I think, as well. Walks into a doom, and now Puppy's here as wow. well, and this is just textbook Dota up here from Secret. Feels like Puppy's everywhere at the moment. It does, isn't it? He's, he's, he's an omnipotent not little uh, little spirit breaker, little space cow. And on the opposite end of the scale, uh, Moogie zero, one and zero on this troll. He really he does just want to avoid these fights. Oh, good split oh beautiful yeah. split up. No setup. Who needs it? There's the Infernal Blade to follow it up. It's a lot of damage from Moogie. And guess who's here? It's wow. Puppy with the celebration charge. <laughs> not even needed in the end, but <laughs> always on call. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, these rotations from Secret are so on point, it feels like this game, especially Puppy and Yapsaw. They, like I said, they feels like they're everywhere, and they're just re reading Newbie like a book at this point. The omnipotent Space Cow, but it looks like Nubia <laughs> looking to respond here as they yeah. find Fatter in the tree line. Exes and Pop, they're going hard for this one. They put down the Bramble Maze though, and there's a coil to interrupt the charge, and it still looks like a lot of damage, but is it enough to bring them down as mid one TPs in? They will take down the Doom, and uh, looks like CC and C could be, sorry, SCCC <laughs> could be in trouble. <laughs> And look, they will just back out from one another. There's so many tanky heroes in yeah, this game. Yeah, everybody is so tanked in this game. It is very tricky to find a kill. Although, uh, you wouldn't believe there's a stun oh, wow. onto the puck there with a the level one phase shift being nope. the death of him. Good fear. Yeah, I'm gonna send them back, but again, doesn't really achieve a whole lot. These exorcisms just aren't achieving anything for Death Prophet, it feels like. They're really trying to force fights with it, but Secret are always just ready to defend. And it feels like uh, newbies just don't have the damage in these fights. They, they drop the coil. They're not using this coil terrorize combo that we talked about in the draft. Yeah. They're not using them together. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they don't want to break that coil. They just kind of want to keep Secret where they are. And I'm not sure whether that's a play, but... Uh, do I get away with the CC and C thing? I mean, you know, I'm no. new. I'm new. I'm new. It's my first cast, please. <laughs> Forgive. You're acting like it. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. My own co-cast has turned on me. It's the end of the line, boys. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. That, uh, the, the main thing is with that fight, we talked about how uh, Ace was having a really difficult time at the start of this game, but he's had so much space in the last few minutes just avoiding these fights and getting whatever he wants. And you see how rich these two secret supports are at the moment. Yeah. They are oh, um, word. got a lot of money in the bank, and uh, man, Yapsol's just doing work on this. Uh, I mean, both as, as you have, I mean, we've praised them a lot. Maybe we should stop now, but <laughs> <laughs> so much. I mean, just the Space Cow being everywhere and uh, the Disco Pony. What a combo, Disco Pony and Space Cow. Sounds like a excellent show, which I would definitely watch, but Puppy going for the charge onto the TPing Faith Ooh. and does get. I'd like Ow. to see a, uh, with the next exorcism, maybe see Newbie try and sneak a Roche at some point. Would they have the troll as well? Um, they just need to make sure, like, KP's uh, splitting out some of the side lanes or something yeah. uh, to make sure it's not obvious, but... I think they, they're trying to force fights, so why not just take it around the roach, but, uh, you know... We'll see. The problem is, if they leave Ace alone, he's just going to take a tower in return, so... Yeah. They, they need... They don't really have ways of dealing with um, Secret unless they're all together. Oh. Jumping on to um, the last track here. Oh, but yes, the now the return with the stun. He got too confident with the double damage and with the split earth. And the ultimate from Ace, they will be able to bring him down. And now Ace just running straight down the lane, looking for more here. And KP, where is his health? Where is his health? He's actually not going to oh. die as the Terrorize comes through and the Bramble Maze. Nice save there by the Dark Willow. They might just go into the Roche here as well, Secret. Let's see. Okay, no, they, they they just want to carry on pushing, try and forcing. They don't have the uh, Lycan ult as well. Yeah, yeah. It's... Obviously, long cooldown at level at level one. Yeah, maybe a couple more points in that uh, Necro book might be uh, nice before they run into that Roche pit. But Newbie with the smoke up, going to find Fata here in the middle lane and KP jumping forwards here, but doesn't really commit oh to anything word. as Puppy just rips through everything. You've already used your phase shift, so I'm going to get a free stun off on you. Uh, Doom cancelled, but now committed, and they will bring down this Puck. Meanwhile, on the other end of the fight, they're trying to bring down Ace, but over on the main line, they're, they're going to easily find this guy onto Puppy. Whatever. But th yeah, th okay, I thought Newbie were going to go into Roche there. I thought that was going to be the play, where they win a fight just outside the pit. Yeah, yeah, I, I would have expected, but, you know, only 23 seconds on Puppy, and there's still a lot of heroes up from the side of uh, Secret. Yeah. They want another one before they commit to the Roshan. Ace is doing a really good job here of using the Wolves to scout as well. Yep. Spotting out uh, the whole of Newbie. EP in Farta. from Farta. That's brave. And, oh my god, just jumping onto Faith straight away. 
these, 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 these nukes coming out from Yapsa are doing so much damage onto Nubi. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I think the Infernal Blade is such a value pick up this game for the percentage based damage. Yeah. Definitely. And this Doom coming out onto uh, KP every single fight. <laughs> yeah, just, just shutting that puck down. Really struggling. And we talked about how important he was for their draft, though, for the lockdown. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and Secret have identified this problem and they have eliminated it. Yeah, so doing far. Doing a very good job. All right, Stock actually going for the Hood first. He's got a bit of. That's, that's. Okay, so it's good versus the Lesh. But again, I'm, I'm not sure I like that too much. I'd like to see a Solar Crest on somebody, on Newbie. I might see it on the uh, DP at some point, but. You have to actually go to the Aetherlands first as well. Wow. He knows how much his spells have been doing this game, and he's he's willing to just get involved. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The the, the full committal build, and then the the Yule's queued up afterwards to break some sciences and yeah. also set up some kills, perhaps. But again, Moogie still top of this net worth chart. You know, Newbie aren't doing that well as a whole, but Moogie's really kind of Secret's still going to struggle to try and you know bring down this troll in the late game situation. I feel like. They just need to make sure they hit this timing secret now and just try and mow down all these towers, I feel like. Well, here we go. Smoke up from secret. They will find Kaka, but they're running straight towards SCCC here. Good charge. Uh, no, they're actually turning back round onto the Night Stalk and they will bring down Kaka in the end. And if they shut them down enough to stop them chasing for more, I think that was enough yeah. uh, for secret there. So they were happy with the results of their smoke. I think they're just going to take this tier two now easily on secret. Yep. They're doing a really good job of smoking and just turning the uh, smokes into kills, into objectives, all in one swift movement. Yep, smoking kills. And uh, oh newbie are very much experiencing <laughs> that side effect right now. As this, oh my god, that tier two just disappearing under the power of Ace and Yapsaw. And that's the Necro two on the like, and now almost has the gold for the Necro three. And when he gets that Necro three online, I think he's going to be doing whatever he wants, basically. Look at Puppy with the solo charges. This guy's got a medallion, yeah. he's got a double damage, and he's got a dream, but he does actually cancel it. Yeah, they saw him with the ward as well, so. Yeah. Obviously, he probably doesn't know that, but. Yeah, that's the full retreat from, uh, from KP, he just put him off. I like that both teams are putting so much. Uh, Emphasis on putting vision around the Roche pit as well. Yeah, that's yeah. really important, especially newbie. Well, especially at, newbie. I mean, yeah. yeah, look at them. I think, in fact, do uh, I'm not even sure Secret have a water oh, around the Roche pit. KP's TPing in behind them to the shrine bot. Doesn't look like he's going to find. Oh, he will actually land the coil onto Fata in the trees there, and I think this might be the end of Doom. Although, yeah, yeah, I'm still trying to scare them away, but it doesn't really work. Fata will go down. So nice rotation there from newbie. Yeah, I feel like we haven't really seen the effect of the Night Stalker this game, though. Like, we talk about the Night Stalker being really good at giving the map control and map dominance, but it feels like Secret just... You know, Puppy's doing the same, but with a <laughs> less of a vision hero, but he's doing more with it, it feels like. Yeah, BKB now up for Mugi though, on the way to him in the Courier. Yeah. What difference does this make to the pace of the game? I mean, the BKB's good against the Lesh and the DK stun, but... I I think Secret can just kite it out. I, I don't think they mind too much, really. They're going to be quite happy to just let the troll BKB. We're just going to run away. Unless they get a really big coil off, in which case, you know, troll is going to be able to get all this damage out. We'll have to see. They just need to make sure they get this coil off before uh, KP gets doomed. Alrighty, so approaching that 20 minute mark, and we are, well, we're looking pretty good for Secret right now. I mean, 17 kills versus 8. 2k gold um, for Puppy and the boys. I mean,. It's it, it it's not super convincing, but it's definitely a good start for them. And uh, you know, looking forward on this game, how are you expecting things to progress? Um, mm, I think newbie just need to try and take it later into the game. Now, I think they just need to make sure this troll gets super fat because there's not like a, a really hard carry on secret, is there? Uh oh, KP walks into the clutches of Fata here as he gets taken out with the, <laughs> with ease as Puppy runs in and slams into him for the final hit. <laughs> He's there again. Celebration always, charge. Always ready. Yeah, so. I think this is really good. This, um, Puppy's picked up a Solar Crest on the Spirit Breaker now as well, which increases their road, road yes. potential. Like yeah, yeah. now they're going to get in. Let's go. Not sure that's quite mathematically accurate, actually. Come on, man. So, um, <laughs> I, I feel like Nubi actually really need to contest this, but it's very, very difficult yeah. for them to do so. Though they do have the Dark Willow, who is an excellent rushing hero. They're so reliant on the coil, this is really yeah. risky. And now Moogie pops in the BKB and just running straight at Ace. Puppy gonna charge SCCC here, and now... 
coming in. Who do they have the Doom available, but they won't actually... Oh, no, they don't have it available. As Ace goes down, SCCC goes down as well. Mid one in the front line is just trying to fight up, but now finds himself alone, getting coiled up. But there's so many heroes just going low here, and in comes Farther with the damage. They're oh actually goodness. able to take out Faith and Mugi with a single split earth. Oh, Karkash, send him back, take him down. KB, only one left alive, and there is a whole little lot which uh, the little puck can do. And guess what? We're going to go straight back and finish what we started into the Roche Jam Pit as Secret taking a very convincing advantage here. Yeah, this is what I mean by the BKB on Troll, though. They're quite happy to just kite him around. The BKB ends are like, cool. Yeah. We're just going to kill you now. Yeah, he, he ran into that Roche Pit like with his BKB, trying to be like all scary, and, and Secret was just like, oh, all right. Yeah, cool. But it, just, it doesn't matter. Like, Ace dies and he's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, this is fine. Know. I'm sure they would have liked to have put the... Uh, well, they don't actually have a great Aegis carrier on Secret with the DK and the like, and obviously both transformation heroes. Yeah. Is that yeah. a technical term? Uh, I think sure. Yeah, transformation yeah, yeah. hero sounds great. <laughs> That's the strat Secret have gone for this game, isn't it? Yeah. But, I, yeah, I we think with the... Uh, I'm surprised S and Y still being picked up on these heroes. Obviously, got a bit of a nerf, and it's still a good item, obviously, but I think they just want the movement speed, really, on, this, on the troll DK heroes like this. Um, hey, Lesh does have the Yules now as well to help the silence, and I think this Lesh track looks super scary now. He has these really tanky talents as well on Lesh, where he gets armor, uh, he gets 15 strength, I think it is, at level 15. And yeah, oh yeah my I think word. that's right. And it's, it's, it's not pleasant, it's not pleasant to watch, and, and he, it just makes your support very difficult to bring down, which is uh, very big, because it means that you can't just jump on the, the back lines mm. as a troll warlord and be able to easily get yourself a, a kill onto Yapsorb. I feel like the Troll's mistake this game is not going for the uh, Battle Fury, because I feel like he could actually be very far ahead if he had gone for that build. Mm. He hasn't been fighting, so I don't know why he's chosen to go for the uh, Sanjin Yasha and BKB over the um, Battle Fury. I, I feel like it could have just been a, a quite a nice farming game for him, but he hasn't gone for those items. Secret didn't have to put on as much pressure because of that, and now we're at this awkward stage in the game where Secret uh, 5k up, and uh, they have themselves a, an, an, a pretty little Aegis to go along in their uh, display cabinet as well. Faith put an observer ward up on that cliff where uh, Secret saw, so they're just going to go and de-ward that again instantly. They know they've got vision there now. Defend the ward. Yep. Defend it with your life, newbie. <laughs> so Nightstalker does have that uh, hood up now. Are we going to look to build that pipe? I, I just don't see what it's going to do, honestly. Um, you know, we could have seen a halberd maybe, but again, I... I I don't know what this Night Stalker does. They're so single target on uh, Nubia at the moment with the Troll, the Night Stalker. They have like some AoE damage with the the uh, Coil and the Exorcism, and they have this Willow ult as well. But we talked about the tanky heroes on Secret, and they managed to bring down the Lycan in that fight, but they just ran out of gas, and all of a sudden, they, they just can't bring anybody else down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This well, Spirit Breaker is so rich. He's so tanky. Yeah. He has Solar Crest and Vit Boost already. My word. Yep, he's going to have that um, Spirit Vessel online very, very shortly. And that's like the two dream items to have on a Spirit Breaker in 24 minutes, as you say. Uh, Puppy's born out of control. Like, these charges are doing so much work in fights as well. They're hitting like three people every time, it feels like. He's always just doing so much work. And they have to commit something to killing the Spirit Breaker. Because if they don't, he's just going to keep doing that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, Doom off cooldown, and Fada wants to make good use of it. In that last fight, we did actually see, so they doomed the Puck earlier on to get a solo kill onto the Puck, and uh, then in the fight, they didn't have it. Um, they still won anyway, though, so they don't even need the Doom. So <laughs> I, th I think that makes it really scary for Newbie, because they can't even be like, oh, well, we'll just wait for them to use Doom and then play around that, because it's not going to happen. Yeah, Newbie doing a really good job of holding the high ground here and making sure they don't show in the lane. As soon as they go down there, Secret are going to charge at them. So they just want to make sure they're in a really good position here to hold the high ground and take oh, the Use Doom throw oh straight no. out onto the puck, but Nubia waiting in the wings, trying to turn this one around. And Fata very far forward, as is Puppy, but Ace coming through the Terrorized Use is going to hit onto Puppy. And look at Ace go. He just runs straight out of that fight thanks to the Terrorized. Meanwhile, they can sweep up the rest of his team. Fata and Puppy go down. What a play from Nubia. Yeah, it's a load oh, the fight's not over. Coil used onto Yapsaw here. They're looking for more. As Mugi jumps straight in, he's got his BKB and he's not afraid to show it off as he chops down Yapsaw. And he was actually on a seven times kill streak. Wow. And uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of kills on the, uh, on the Lesh rack. But uh, Nubi taking a very, very good fight. They're just ultimate bait with the high ground there. They knew they were going to throw that Doom yeah. onto the puck and they just completely baited it out. And now they're going to get a tier one tower at mid. And maybe a little bit more for it. The only one they didn't bring down, um, well, the only two they didn't bring down, one was with the Aegis carrier as well, so they didn't even have to bother with an Aegis that fight. It was so... <laughs> they threw the Doom out onto the puck, but Secret just weren't in a position to be able to follow up instantly with the damage. 
Um, so the, the puck just kind of walked away. And all yeah. of a sudden, Doom's just stuck between about four heroes, and Troll's like, well, I'm just going to hit you then. This yeah, is fine. Yeah, like, I, I'm not sure Secret predicted that the whole of Nubia would waiting on that high ground for uh, the puck to just yeah. run to. And it was, yeah, difficult fight. Now they have to wait for the Doom again, I think, before they can commit. Oh, there is a charge, though. Yeah, going on to uh, KP is uh, KP is just going to blink and orb himself away. Yeah, super mobile against these uh, heroes like uh, Spirit Breaker and things. Just can always uh, dodge that charge. Obviously, if you have the phase shift available, if you can see the Spirit Breaker coming, might yeah. see a Shadow Blade on Spirit Breaker at some point in this game to try and deal with that. Yeah, so that's an Invis rune here. They, yeah, there is that's... mid one here as well. Not even needing the setup for the stunner though. Yeah, mid one's waiting, but do they have the ward for this? I'm not even sure. They're actually gonna yield and then they don't quite time it right. Unfortunately, now the return, the coil is out and Puppy, he's in a horrible position. There's a fear with the coil. They take down one, they take down two. Puppy and Yapsil dead ace. He's just trying to do anything this fight, but the curse crown is on him. So that stun is gonna come off. Meanwhile, mid one fighting it off, but it is gonna be ace who their focus is and they will bring him down. That last ax coming through. Fata mid one, they just cut their losses and get out of there. As newbie taking another very convincing fight over secret and uh, I feel like that was just a little bit too much overconfidence mm. from the supports there you know they they really wanted to get that kill onto Moogie and when he started running away they should have just been like okay like they know or they, they said something's wrong let's just get out but they didn't they they kept on committing they used the yours if they had landed the stun with the with the spirit breaker maybe they would have got the kill I still don't think they would the not with the heroes we were there from newbie yeah the problem with that fight is as well that S3C didn't use exorcism so if they want to try and carry on going for objectives here they have it available and it's really difficult for us yeah. to try and fight now battle trance and exorcism oh boy <laughs> Uh, there is an Aeon Disc now on the Death Prophet as well, if you saw that pop up on the side of the screen. So, can't purse him down now instantly with the Spirit Breaker and the Lesh. That yeah. Aeon Disc is super good. Yeah, yeah, super it's really fine. nice. Uh, one thing with the Lesh in the game is that you do find the Aeon Disc being popped if you're too close to the fight, or even just with the lightnings jumping around. You do find it being popped like regardless of whether you're being focused or not. Hmm. Um, and also with the, with the DK, uh, the AoE damage from him as well it's, might cause issues. But yeah, it's, it's, it's still a really good pickup, it's just something to look out for. And it's something the Death Prophet will definitely have to play around. Yeah, it's got to the point of the game where Noobie's, uh, Moogie's an absolute monster now on this troll. They're really struggling to deal with him. And as soon as he gets on top of you, they have no way of getting him off, it feels like. Yeah, Fata waiting. I mean, I think he's got, yeah, he's, he's got the Doom available. And SCC is oh, good. Wow. Go target to use it on. They jump straight away. And then comes the split earth immediately onto Kaka. They're full committing to this fight as SCCC running away from Ace. Now the Yuz up onto him as well. The Terrorize will be to follow up, but doesn't quite catch the doggy. Meanwhile, Moogie just trying to do his best in this fight, but he gets stunned up by Puppy. Not able to find any more targets. Yeah, he's BKB run out now. That yeah, this looks very, very awkward. Trying to get away. Meanwhile, the two stuns on to the Dark Willow. Will be able to take him down. Now SCC also wow. going down as well. What a car fight. Car trying to kick his way through the tree line. He needs to get out here and will find the TP. Did that get interrupted? No, 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 he, no. he managed to get away. KP on the Great Escape. Luckily, he is a puck, so getting away is the name of the game. But Secret finally managed to take a fight. <laughs> so after two big losses, they get one back. And uh, that was a big doom. Not So pro tip, don't doom the puck. <laughs> do, doom the Death Prophet. That's what we've learned today, kids. Yeah, it's got to the point now where the Puck doesn't really do too much. Obviously, this Coil Terrorize is annoying, but they have their BKBs. So until the Puck gets the Axe online. Oh, my oh, word. That's a lot of damage. The it's Night a Stalker just got a gem. A car car, and this is really bad. Gem pickup if he dies right oh, now inside his own base. But okay. KP very quick to pick that one up. So uh, Kaka does go down, but they don't lose their gem. Yeah, just as well, really, because if they'd have picked that up and lost it straight away, they would have been very annoyed at themselves. Yes, absolutely. Um, and, you know, this this it has been the Doom just being able to get a free... I mean, should the Doom really be able to pick his Doom targets this easily? Yeah, he's just sitting there with a Shadow Blade and, and <laughs> kind of going, oh, which one do I want? It's, it's, it's like me at the sandwich counter, you know? <laughs> I was going to say, uh, when they went to that top fight, I was going to say, yeah, oh, this is why you need sentries when you push. And then I saw that Kaka just picked up the gem instantly yeah. as soon as I thought that. And yeah, they, Learn from your mistakes. Yeah, that, that only happens once in a game, it feels like. Well, I think it's happened a couple of times to a newbie this game. It's, it's taken them one or two uh, dooms for them to, to learn this one. But yeah. it seems like uh, they're in control of the situation now. Um, so, middle lane, just... Uh, you can down some creeps uh, and get some farm up. What items are we close to? I mean, the puck's going for the Lincolns next. Um, that's going to be actually pretty huge just to stop those silences. Uh, all the stuns coming out onto her. The stops are yours as well, which is really nice. Um, yeah. 
We talked about the main way of dealing with the puck being the DK stun. Obviously, if you get the linkers on the puck, that completely nullifies that uh, initiation onto the puck. Obviously, really good against the Doom as well. So uh, if you want to Doom the puck, you have to maybe throw out a Halberd or something if he's going to go for that first. Obviously, Halberd's a decent pickup against the Troll as well. Yep, well, Ace popping the ulti. They want to go here as they're running down the middle lane. They're thinking about it. Farta Ooh. can't quite get off this Doom. And this is one awkward fight as Ace is just running around at full speed on the back lines of his own team. So, yeah. Bot lane is pushing in, though, for Secret as well. So that's going to have to be dealt with at some point by new people. Yeah, we'll yeah, but see. good, good patience from the uh, from the like, and you know, you pop on that ulti and then not immediately running in because you're like, I've used my ulti, let's go. Yeah, uh, force the fight. Considering <laughs> it first, not many people in my games do that. <laughs> does do any does anybody in your game still pick like? And I'm sure that hero's been dead in pubs <laughs> for a while now. True, it feels like. true. We have the uh, the helm of the dominator ring where mm. there's that guy who posted to Reddit about the helm of the dominator strat, and then everybody did it and. Since then, things God, have gone uh, quiet, thank God. Newbie smoking up and all, they really want to try and find something, and they ping out where they where they think they are, but it's very difficult to walk up to that high ground without vision and just try and take a fight. Yeah, I think I think Secret are... Uh, oh, here ooh, we go. They're also going to smoke up as well, so some smoke on smoke action. Especially with Roche respawning really soon, it's... Uh, this, this is a big fight here, I Oh, an Invis rune. Could this make all the difference? Yes, it will, as Faith actually gets his smoke revealed, but he is invisible and jumping up. Oh, they try and smoke again, but now the stun is out, and who is actually dropping here? Is it BKB's a pop? SECC going to go straight onto Puppy and take him down. Meanwhile, mid one just th d throwing the damage down onto the low ground, but also being chased down himself, uh, trying to get away, and will be successful in doing so for now into the clear hut. Oh, the his team with Doom, but who was it on? He actually saved it and now uses it onto uh, the Night Stalker, but he himself is getting nuked down. SCCC chasing down mid one, but will be stunned up himself. Meanwhile, this exorcism is just going to work with the Bedlam. It's enough to bring down the DK. Leshrak finding himself in a whole world of hurt right now as Yapstor's got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and he will just fall to SCCC. But Ace is doing the work down in the bottom lane and takes himself a full set of racks. I think that fight was worth it for Secret, don't you? Do you remember what I said? Bot lane's pushing in for Secret, and Newbie might need to deal with that. They didn't deal with it, Nomad. They, they... Well, they will uh, certainly clean up the mess afterwards as they uh, just yules upon yules onto this uh, poor little ace, yeah. and now his ulti runs out, and he will go down, but do what you must, I have already won. Yeah, that is the uh, Roche spawning now, though, so I think Newbie are going to go and waltz over to the pit here and try and pick that one up for themselves. So then when they get this uh, Roche on the troll... Ooh. I think uh, they're gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be very difficult. Gonna tricky, and they're gonna be mad about their lost rack, so it's uh, roast steaks for dinner for Moogie as he runs into that pit. And uh, no response really gonna come out from Secret, as they've still got a long time to wait for two of their calls to be online. Oh my god, the, the main point of that fight was that the Willow survived. Because yeah. they, they, they started to try and... Uh, the DK went in and stunned the Willow, but they didn't have a follow-up damage. So she just Shadow Realms, stay, you know, stays alive, gets all her spells off, and all of a sudden that utility is massive. And they get the cheese on the DP as well, which is just as huge as the Aegis. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, looking at this lineup from Secret, you've got to ask yourself, where is the damage coming from? I mean, mm. you've got a full position Leshrac who does a bit, but at the same time, he's a full position. He, there's only so much he can do. Uh, you, you know, you've got the Doom, which takes people down. You know, you've got, you've got Dragon Knight who can hit people, but it's so slow. There's, there's none of that blow you up immediately potentially. I mean, I guess if the Lycan gets in there with all of his creeps, mm. that's just not happening. Like, Nubi aren't letting that happen right now. Yeah. And, uh, well, what, what a roller coaster game as we saw from that XP graph going up and down and up and down and up and down. Um, it's anybody's game right now. Yeah, there's no sustained com damage coming out from Secret in terms of physical damage, so it's really difficult for them to bring down this DP and the troll now at this point. Um, there was a uh, Ags on Puck just picked up there. I assume he's gone for that instead of the Lincolns. I really like that. Yeah, it, that's for big. it forces the Doom to um, use his ult on you now because if you get that uh, Dream Coil off before they BKB and then you follow it up, um, if you can get the Terrorize off as well, obviously it's amazing. But that uh, Ags Coil onto the Lycan just completely stops him from doing whatever he wants. Lycan's one of those heroes that really relies on mobility to do his damage in the fight. So. Yeah, yeah, you're completely right. Um, so. Newbie. Oh my well, word. The Sheev is on the DP. Jumping on well. the middle lane, they're gonna find Yapsaw here, and Yapsaw, he doesn't really have a decent way out of this fight. He will use himself up, save himself from the Bedlam damage, but I think he goes down all the same. Faster just jumping in, gonna doom up SCCC here, but Moogie coming in, trying to deal the damage to Puppy, but gets the stun off onto Moogie. Now the Terrorize is gonna come off, but Faster is BKP'd. Only gonna land on Puppy, but Ace trying to deal the damage to Kaka here. Can he take down this Night Stalker? The stun is out the Dragon Tail, and then the crit comes through, and they will take him down. Moogie, though, getting very low on the front lines. I'm not sure he's gonna survive this, but he does have that. Aegis, KP up onto the onto the high ground, trying to finish off Farta here, but he does have that uh, invis. Oh, dodges a bit. Wow. Nice dodge from KP there onto the Infernal Blade, and it allows him to get that kill. Ace now going for more as well. 
What do they do, have to do slow him down, dive? though? What do they have to slow him down? Puffy just trying to be bait here. His mid one is waiting. The charge onto SCCC, oh, but there's the Yules available. Mugi waiting, baiting, running away. I think that's an Orchid on mid one as well that they just used to kill the puck there. That's that's a big pickup for them. They're looking yeah, for more here. Yes, it's, he's got it now. Puppy's chasing. Wow, Puppy not even caring. And look at that Spirit Vessel on the uh, return of the Ghosts. Not going to uh, heal SCCC up to full, but I think... Does Puppy get this? I mean, he's not giving up. Yeah, they Dude's ambitious. He's charging. There you go. Not another spirit vessel, another yeah, charge, but will be used up straight away. In comes Mugi. And there's oh, a charge. Word. Actually, the ultimate use onto Mugi here. This is very aggressive from Puppy, but the rest of his team are hit. Puppy gets cleaned up, and they won't find a return kill. So, uh, yeah, Puppy, he, he, he had the red mist descend on him there, I think. He was playing Mario there, where you can only go forwards instead of backwards. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, once, once you commit, you just have to carry on going. That's got to go. That's the way to commitment. Absolutely. Yeah, and there is this gem on the DK now that they took off the Night Stalker, so that's really huge for them. Try and get some sort of map control back into the game. Uh, stop Newbie from just taking over. Yep. I love this Orchid pickup though from mid one against the Puck. They yeah, really need some sort big. of uh, some sort of lockdown to bring him down. It means they don't have to doom the Puck if they can uh, silence him up instead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You really want to use that doom on uh, S Triple C if you can. So um, even more of a reason now for Puck to pick up that Lincoln's though. Yeah, definitely. I think he'll he'll yeah he'll he'll pick it up next for for sure. I'm sure he's really annoyed at um, being doomed and silenced all the time. But that's his yep. main way of dying. So. Well, Troll, he's managed to get himself an MKB, Sanjan Yasha, and BKB. Going for the nullifier next. Um, MKB versus this team. Where's the evasion on... on... It's, uh, well, you see, MKB does damage now instead of attack true, speed. True. So all of a sudden, MKB on Troll is amazing. Yeah, yeah that's true. We can get those bashes in and... Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I really like it now. It's a uh, good item on Troll. It's, it's not very good on heroes like OD anymore, obviously, because you don't have the attack speed, it's damage instead. And obviously on OD, your damage comes from the orb. But heroes like Troll, they're going to love this item. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, mid one in the middle lane will get jumped on by KP as Moogie follows up with the right clicks and just using that onward to try and bring down mid one. Won't be successful. Meanwhile, Puppy in the middle of the fight getting stunned up and there comes a terrorize. Not really going to land. Only onto one. Meanwhile, the Doom is out onto SCCC trying to get away from this. But the Exorcism is already popping, doing his work. Kaka caught in the middle will be taken out. Fat with the double kill chasing down SCCC here with all these little creeps. Armies just going for it while Space gets taken out on the back lines. Oh, and they move down. Crowd. Look at that curse crown. Stunning up everybody. But then in comes a Fernal Blade. Follow up with a splitter. And all of a sudden, SCCC cheese. in a lot of no. trouble. Not going to use that cheese yeah. there. Pointless. I guess, yeah, you, you save your cheese. And this is really bad now. Wow, what a fight from Secret there. Taking down four heroes. Oh, look at that charge speed. He's going. He's going. He's going to the bottom Zooming lane. Zooming down <laughs> to that bottom lane. Look at him go. And uh, they're going to oh. they're going to be forcing buybacks here, though. Yeah, already the uh, but Death Prophet will get back into this game, but no exorcism available. Yeah, 90 seconds with no exorcism. How do they stop this push? And this is what we talked about in the draft. They lose one fight, and all of a sudden, the game looks really difficult for them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, even with the heroes they brought back on, I mean, you know, 10 seconds, so Dark Willow's up. But, uh, I, I don't think that's enough. I think I think Secret would have done their job by then. Yeah, they okay. just need to be okay. careful. They're going to back out, but there is a coil. Nicely done onto two. They don't want to break this. Well, Watch. Ace does. In we go with Puppy. Now using the ultimate onto Moogie here. If they kill him, this is absolutely huge. Can they bring down the troll wall or do they have the damage? He pops the BKB. He's trying to run away. Will be successful in escaping from this. Meanwhile, Ace is, Ace in, is in a bit of trouble here. Curse Crown goes off. There's a Bedlam. It's a lot of damage and it is enough to bring down the doggy. Meanwhile, SECC on the front lines. Moogie actually drops though. All the creeps come round the back and kill him off. Mid oh, no, one KP. straight on. It's a lot of damage onto the puck. It is enough to bring him down. Yep, so with the stun, throwing mid one up into the air. But there are two heroes dead on the side of Noob. Now KP didn't buy back and look at that charge flying straight back in here and Fata jumping straight up onto the high ground He's got this Sheevers will not be caught by the terrorize as a mid one jumps onto the back lines as well Now the buybacks are coming through actually ace buying back and troll warlord as well Moogie is back into this fight but stun is out onto SCCC now comes the orb as KP getting back to his oh team no. But it's a lot of damage another bedlam another kill as mid one goes down nearly takes down the willow with him Does he actually drop he does drop to the silence now puppy here comes the dog man to help <laughs> help the moo cow. It's a zoo in the middle. <laughs> Just what's going on? Puppy very low, but um, will be okay in the end as uh, the rest of the team show up to protect their captain. Yeah, I mean loyal subjugates. They did buy back on Ace and uh, and Yapso here, so I'm sure they want to carry on pushing. But they know the troll doesn't have buyback. He's dead for 40 seconds still, and they really want to get this mid racks. Two Definitely. sets of racks is much harder to defend for newbie than one set of racks. 
it's, it, it, it doesn't feel like it should be much more, but it's, it's really difficult to defend two sets. Yep, and look at that with the Necro and the Creeps and two Catapults as well. What's happening to your Rax? Well, they are no longer here, though. In jumps oh, no the Park and the stun's out. And all of those Creeps coming in, the Yules is there, terrorized, just going to land onto the Lesh. And uh, now Puppy could be in trouble, actually, as he's caught by the Brown Maze and will be taken out. Now the Bedlam doing a lot of damage. Fatal will be taken down as well, and Death Prophet is absolutely fine with getting doomed there. So losing three heroes for a barracks, I mean, yeah, oh, sorry, two heroes for the barracks. DK died earlier. They did commit exorcism as well to defend their base, which means they're not going to have it for the true. push here. Yeah, that's going to be going down quite shortly. But, um, well, I mean, Dark Widow, the, I think it's a valuable pick up this game. Like, those Bedlams have been pretty instrumental in getting them a couple of kills here whilst defending. Yep. But And they do get the gem back on the Night Stalker as well. And S Triple C hits the level 25 now, so he gets the exorcism, grants haste. But that talent's going to be really useful in, uh, in terms of kiting around these fights. Definitely. I like this a lot. And there goes your tier two. Puppy gonna buy back. Mid one respawns. Fatter holding on to his. He doesn't have Doom, so it's not really a very attractive prospect to uh, buy back on a yeah. Doom without his signature spell. If they can just hold their buybacks at this point, this would be huge for uh, for Secret because they know that the troll and the DP don't have one. So it means that they just need to win one fight now, where the troll and the DP die. And then all of a sudden, Nubia are in serious trouble. Yeah. Well, the tier one taken. I'm not sure how there's a tier one still a bit up at 42 minutes into the game, but. Yeah, it was the lane with the troll in it at the beginning as well. Yeah, so yeah, many questions, but, <laughs> you know. Doesn't matter. It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> so, um... This, this, let's, can we just, let's take a, oh, can we just talk about this charge, by the way? How much is doing in these fights? Now he gets the speed as well. But yeah, yeah. I felt like Puppy kind of he had a slump in the middle of the game where he kind of wasn't able to do. But now he's got this charge speed. He's making it work so well for him and just flying into these fights and uh, basically acting like a little cannonball, just ripping, ripping through the side of her newbie. Yeah, and they're doing a really good job of try, uh, kiting the troll around while he's BKB. They're using the Nether Strike on the Spirit Breaker. They've got this charge coming through before he gets his BKB off. There's, there's so much that they're doing to to stop him from getting his damage off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, taking a step back, I mean, newbie, right, what position are they in? They've lost two of their barracks. I mean, a bad one. That's, that's, that's pretty bad, yeah. They've bought back a lot, and all of a sudden, this game is, is, is looking very, very tricky for them to pull back. So, how long does this game have to go on for before newbie have a chance of winning? I think they just need to make sure they get their buybacks first. The, the, the main problem for them at the moment is if they lose a fight within the next few minutes or they don't have buyback on the uh, DP and the troll, another three and a half minutes for both of those. So we'll have to see if they can hold out till then. I think Secret are probably going to try and force it soon when they have the Doom and everything available. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that net worth graph just jumping up and down. As, uh, Secret take a team fight, then newbie take a team fight, then newbie take a team fight, then Secret <laughs> take a barracks, and then... Crazy. It's been really up and down this game. I'm sure that win probability is not very fair on Newbie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's a little harsh, but you know, apparently it's been 100% most of the game. So puppy, look at him go. go. He's like Sonic, but not a hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the cow. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Let's go. <laughs> so here we go. It looks like there's going to be something brewing here. Both teams really want to try and hold. Again, Newbie New are doing what we saw before, where they just hold the high ground here and make sure they don't get picked off from a really silly position. They have good vision around uh, from the ward around the Roche pit too. Yeah, they're so scared to go anywhere. Yeah, yeah it's a very awkward situation. Newbie just don't want to leave their high ground. Looks Why would like, they? Uh, well, Kaka's going to get a bit of scouting done. I mean, they do have the nighttime vision, so they have that advantage. Um, who is the G? Yeah, Nightstalker's still got the gem as well, so at least they know uh, where the site is and they can they can play carefully. But look at Puppy, so aggressive, always looking for something. Yeah, 2.7k HP, almost has the BKB online as well, and then he's going to be really difficult to deal with. It's quite funny seeing the uh, Nightstalker walk so cautiously around the map at the night time just because there's, there's Puppy, <laughs> just because he doesn't want to get charged. And yeah, and this, this Roche is huge. If they can stop the troll getting this Aegis... Yeah, oh, they see they faster in the mid lane. And they're going to go onto the Doom here. He just pops his BKB. I mean, he's more than happy for this to happen because he knows that he's making space for his team to finish off that Roshan. So even if he goes down here, if they can finish off this Roshan, then it is worth it. But will they? It's getting low. Oh, the There's a Terrorize. Oh. Is it going to come through in time? It's not quite going to be there. Oh, low. The refresh is sharp. Nope. Never mind. Mid one picks it all up. Oh, good charge, he is though. a very fat Dragon Knight now. Um, swaps the cheese into his infantry. So oh, we'll have that available. But it's a lot of damage onto Moogie. They will be able to take him down. No buyback for him. Available. 
trouble. Meanwhile, Death Prophet is going to run out of this fight with that haste, but Doom is up onto the puck, and now with the damage to follow up, they will bring him down. So it's just Kaka left. Yeah, Troll doesn't have buyback until he revives. It looks like Kaka is going to be okay. Which is so. very difficult. <laughs> Three heroes survive from newbie, but my word, what an impossible defense for them now. I think Secret can uh, end yeah. it. I, I think they can as well. Um, they get the refresh oh, shot on the forwards well. onto the Night Stalkers. The rest of the team are oh, here to back them up. Beautiful terrorize, gonna land onto four heroes. In comes Yapsor to bolster his team, but the damage out onto mid one. They will bring him down, but he's got the Aegis and the Cheese available. Karkar gets taken down by the Sheevers, will buy back and get back into yeah, this fight. This is... SCC and C, but meanwhile, Ace is just getting to work on the buildings. He is not interested in heroes, he is only interested in these buildings and trying to win the game for his team. Whilst the team makes space for him, Puppy will just pick up that random gem, which is left by the corpse of Karkar, but good game is called. As Secret get to work on the on the ancient. Well, what a great first series. Yeah, what a that fantastic was, first game. That was uh, that was up and down. That was all over the place. And uh, in the end, it was Secret. I mean, credit to Secret in the end. There, you know, it was up and down for them, like we mm. said. But at the end of the day, it never fell into newbies' half. They were always in control. You know. And